Hello and welcome back to my devlog for Among the Graves, my zombie survival game made in Unity. Recently, when I was working on the weather system, I came across a really annoying bug within the Unity engine. You see, what I was trying to accomplish was to mark out any areas that were deemed inside, add a trigger collider over that area, and when the particles enter the space, they would reduce their alpha level to give the player the illusion of being sheltered from the weather. The only issue was that using pre-warm, triggerable particles with sub-emitter, very specific I know, would randomly cause this invalid AABB error to occur on every single particle, meaning the effect wouldn't work, the performance would tank, and was just not a good time. This invalid AABB error refers to the axis aligned bounding box, it's basically just the space around each object. I could have probably spent some time finding another way to achieve this, but I wanted to persevere with this issue, so let's get to the bottom of it. So first, I tried to replicate this issue in a fresh project, just to see if it wasn't anything else causing the problem. I added a particle system, set it to be pre-warm and interactable with triggers. If it triggers the warnings like before, I know it's the engine's fault. And if it doesn't, ah, then maybe I'm the problem. So I'll go ahead and run this test and yep, there we go. Down in the console, you can see the exact same issue appearing. So at least it's not me this time. So I knew it was the engine causing this issue. So I had to look for a way to fix this. I noticed that the issue was only occurring when the particles were pre-warm and the error happens once they collide with the trigger, which meant that it was probably caused by having them start inside the area. So I tried quite possibly the dumbest way to quote unquote fix this issue, which was by moving the particle system out of the way and then on start, move it back into place. For some reason, this actually worked. I don't know exactly why it worked or if it should have worked, but that is the code currently in this game that makes the weather effects run properly. This is obviously not the most ideal solution to this issue, and I was hoping to get this sorted out, so I did what any good member of the community should do, and I filed a bug report with the Unity, hoping for answers and a miracle. I described everything I've just covered in the report, sent it off, and prayed. The next day. So I got an email from the Unity bug fixing team, stated that the bug was verified and replicated, which is great. This shows I wasn't being incompetent in my development and testing, but it's going to be a bit of waiting until it's actually fixed. You've got mail. Oh, what's that? Another email. This must be the great news that I can stop the janky workarounds. Bug won't be fixed as the version has reached end of life. Well, that's not exactly the news I was hoping for. Uh. And with that, I was devastated, left alone, with nothing but janky code and no clue where this habit would take me next. Soon I'll be writing single use code full of nothing but if else statements with no care at all. Maybe I should be looking at other engines. They won't hurt me, right? I'll never recover from this. Oh, they sent me another email. Hey, JK, this bug report has been reopened. Phew, what a relief. I can go back to making funny looking rain effects knowing that one day it will actually work. And then it came. The final email stating that the bug had been fixed and verified and is found in Unity 6. For those that don't know, Unity 6 is the brand new version of the Unity engine with the company looking to go back to their old ways with the naming scheme and hopefully their success. As with the rise of competitors and the interesting business decisions Unity have been going with recently, they need a win. So Unity are hoping 6 is their saviour and when it comes to fun little weather effects, so am I. And lucky for me, Unity 6 just hit its preview release, which is equal to the old 0.1 versions. So let's see if it's actually fixed or they've just shattered my dreams. After installing the engine, I'm going to yet again create a blank project and set up my little test before porting among the graves. So just like before, I added the particle system, sub-emitter, the trigger, it's all set up. Now time for the moment of truth and it actually looks like it's been fixed. This is such a weird bug to have encountered and I'm actually amazed at how quickly this was seemingly resolved, but I can't celebrate too early. Before I go ahead and jump into the new version, I need to make sure this wasn't some fluke. So I'll go ahead and port the 2023 test version up to Unity 6. Now I know that this version errors every single time. So if it works just fine, then we're good to go. I opened the project up in Unity 6, waited ages for it to load up, and here we go. This is the real test for this version, and it's gone. Amazing. No errors in sight, just some warning about old APIs. 
But if I turn that compatibility mode off, just to be sure, the error is gone. So I've done my research. I've run multiple tests. Now it's time to upgrade my project to Unity 6. Just in case this all goes wrong, of course I'm using version control so I can just revert at any time, but hopefully there's no need for that. Once again, I can port this project over in Unity Hub, let it do its thing, and we'll see how it goes. So here we are in Unity 6. I'll just make sure all of the code is sorted for the weather effect. You can see this coroutine was what was fixing it temporarily for some reason. But I'm no longer getting these errors in console, the weather is working perfectly and I am very satisfied with this outcome. I've tested it with the snow as well with no issues and hopefully I won't be having any more issues with the particle system. This one bug was a good enough reason to upgrade to Unity 6, but what else does it include? Most of the selling points for the new version are centred around rendering and performance, with the new GPU rendering drawer, GPU based occlusion culling, foveated rendering, lighting and so on. Most of this I won't ever touch, but the new build settings designed for multi-platform could prove useful later down the line, and any performance improvements are greatly appreciated. But let me know what you think of Unity 6. Have you seen anything in the new engine that looks interesting to you, or is it just another release? Leave a comment down below, be good to read those. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.